This is what the Lord Almighty says. Do not listen to what the prophets are professing to you. They will fill you with false hope. They speak visions from their own minds, not from the mouth of the Lord. They keep saying to those who despise me, the Lord says, you will have peace. And to all who follow the stubbornness of their hearts, they say no harm will come to you. But which of them has stood in the counsel of the Lord? To see or hear his word. Who has listened to and heard his word? See the storm of the Lord will burst out in wrath. A whirlwind swirling down on the heads of the wicked. The anger of the Lord will not turn back until he has fully accomplished the purpose of of his heart in days to come you will understand it clearly I did not send these prophets yet they have run with their message I did not speak to them yet they have professed but if they stood in my counsel they would have proclaimed my words to my people and would have turned them from their evil ways and from their evil deeds. I am only a God nearby, declares the Lord, and I am not a God far away. Who can hide in secret places so that I cannot see them, declares the Lord. Do not fill heaven and earth, declares. Do not I fill heaven and earth, declares the Lord. I have heard what the prophets say who pro prophesies lies in my name they say I am a dream I had a dream I had a dream how long will this continue in the hearts of the lying prophets who prophesy the delusions of their own minds they think the dreams they tell one another will make my people forget my name, just as their ancestors forgot my name through Baal worship. Let the prophet who has a dream recount the dream, but let the one who has my word speak it faithfully. For what has drawn to do the, with grain, declares the Lord, is not my word like fire, declares the Lord, and like a hammer that breaks a rock into pieces. Therefore, declares the Lord, I am against the prophets who steal from one another whose words supposedly from me. Yes, declares the Lord, I am against the prophets who wag their own tongues and yet declare the Lord declare. Indeed, I am against those who prophesy false dreams, declares the Lord. 
they tell them and lead my people astray with reckless lies yet I do not sin or appoint them they do not benefit these people in the least declares the Lord let's start off with with a bit of a story and we'll get to the point in along the way there is a man who is involved with two women and he really didn't want to, the the two women that knowing that the other existed and the man gets sick he needs some sort of medical treatments because he's finding himself um, with a chronic condition and he goes to to his son and he and he says that that what the condition is and that he may need help the son offers him a place to live and um, because it, because that's where it's leading to it, in the end that he's going to need that kind of help at home that he wouldn't be able to to take care of, of himself he doesn't tell the son about the women he tells one woman that it's all fine we can we can move in with my son and and we'll and we'll still be together he goes to the other woman and asks for help to move into his son's house and he does all the she does all this running around with him to to find him a U-Haul truck and to help him move, help him pack, make sure that, that his things are, are gathered gathered up and packed into the truck. She doesn't actually physically pack the boxes because the other one packed the boxes with all the stuff so that they could be moved on the U-Haul. He goes to the landlord, he settles things with the landlord and makes uh, tells it uh, gives returns turns keys and tells them the last day that he actually will be in the rental unit that he's getting so they all the all these things happen the one woman helps him, helps him with the truck, helps him get the truck, and they meet in the strangest places to pick up the truck and to move cars around and everything because he's moving from one province to another province to be with his son. The one woman gets left behind with the rental unit not knowing and now now she probably doesn't know where where it is that she's going to be moving to because she's left behind not knowing what's going on the man does eventually get settled in with his son his son has no idea that 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 the what has gone on with with the two women And his son is prepared to take on a whole load to take care of his father with a chronic leading to terminal illness. And as, it, as his, his father ages. So we have one woman who 
is trying to, you know, worried about her friend and, and what it, and what is actually going to happen to him in, as, as he reaches different stages of this chronic disease. And we have one woman who's left behind, never, he'll never hear from, from her again because he's told a whole pack of lies and she's now gone and left without a home. You have the, the son who eventually couldn't, because of the illness, could use the help and maybe if the if if the father had told the truth that something could have been done to help at least one person have make sure that she wasn't homeless so in the end when we consider when we consider illnesses and the course of illness and how things go that the son also could use could use the help the extra helping hands to take care of his father which means that the father in the end shortchanged himself with his lies of having the best possible care to take care of him and his illness. The point of the story is if everyone had been honest with each other, especially the father if he had been to completely honest and not tried to as we as we put it play the other one against the the, everyone against them, themselves for his own gain. Everyone may have come out for the better. It is the the lies that uh, the bearing of false witnesses against each other that starts to hurt ourselves. That we because of lack of honesty that we start doing things that not only are hurtful to others but they're hurtful to ourselves that and this is the whole thing that God wants us to be honest with each other not to do things to bear witness false witness against each other because it eventually hurts ourselves when we don't tell the truth. That when we tell the truth, we don't have to remember anything but one thing, the truth. And then we don't even have to remember the truth. Because everyone will know all the same story. With truth, there's only one story. When we start telling lies, we compound stories, and we t and there becomes multiple stories, multiple threads of things that have to be put together in order to discover what really happened. This also, in leading back to our reading, when we we looked at all of all these different prophecies, false prophecies, they were being told. They were actually hurting the people because no one actually knew what God was saying. It caused confusion. And that's the last thing that God wants for us, is confusion. God wants us on a path that leads to love. Confusion can take us away from it. It is that confusion that makes us, makes each hurdle in life harder to get over. 
we're going to find though with with the, with the truth we find a path over the hurdle it may not be the same path for each uh, one of us woman a may have found a different path to to uh, to life security and found a home again her, her own way woman B found a different path to her own security but each of them found a path back to their own security they got over the hurdle each one did a different way but they did but because of the confusion they they didn't know which way to would lead to that path back to love because the confusion that the man in our example caused they didn't know where to find the right path the path that would lead them back to love safety and home Where our world is full of confusion, and I'm not using confusion to substitute for chaos. Chaos is actually is actually something that could be very beautiful because you're walking along the path and you see a flower just appear. flower is kind of a bit of chaos a bit of beauty chaos and beauty kind of go together confusion is another thing our universe is is, is full of chaos our our universe is, uses that chaos to build beautiful things and sometimes yeah. but the confusion doesn't causes causes us to maybe miss out on some of the beauty that is around the chaos doesn't do because we're confused we don't we miss things we miss things. Point blank. That's it. We missed them. So now we have to find a different tool to do the to do the same job. When maybe the first tool that we, that we would have found if it hadn't been for the confusion would have done done it faster. But not being truthful with these with the with with each other causes can, that confusion and the confusion adds needless steps back to our loving home that we have with God so Lord help us to be truthful with each other help us not to cause the confusion that leads us astray help us to stop thinking about what the other person may be thinking that we might try to tell a lie help us to give the other person the ability to respond to the truth the first time so that we all can find our path back to you with the tool that does the job the best your truth your love amen